Hey guys, um, I want to start off this video by thanking everybody who's watched the videos. Uh, it's really cool. When I did my first video, of course you come on here and you say, Hey everybody, but you're uh, not really sure who you're talking to when you do your first couple videos. And then I published them and, you know, I've gotten, we've gotten um, 300 new subscribers or 350 new subscribers uh, in, in the last couple weeks. And uh, the videos are averaging over a thousand views. Uh, in, in in a week, um, so so it's really cool because now I know that that, uh, that uh, you guys are out there and and I, I see that and it uh, feels good to know that uh, I'm I'm able to make a difference and, and help some people uh, with their painting. Um, so I'm going to read a little quote. It's one of my favorite quotes um, from a book called The Art Spirit by Robert Henry, and uh, he was an American. Um, painter involved with the Ashcan School. He uh, taught at the um, at the Art Students League in New York and um, he was a, a very influential figure in American art and uh, just a wonderful teacher. He taught uh, a lot of great great students and was uh, friends with George Bellows and um, and uh, inspired a lot of a lot of great artists. So you can uh, look up more about him if if you haven't heard about him. Uh, it's uh, Robert, and then his last name is H E N R I, Robert Henry or Henry. Um, and that's another thing I will say. I am terrible with pronunciation, so uh, I wouldn't quote me on any of the pronunciations of any artists' uh, names that I. I uh, mention here on the channel so I'll do my best but uh, when in doubt just uh, look it up and, and decide for yourself how to say it so um, so this is a quote that he wrote uh, concerning originality and I know when you're first starting out um, it, there's a tendency to pre get preoccupied sometimes with originality and uh, style and um, it can boggle your mind and kind of it can really um, slow your your progress. And if um, you know, you might be worried. Well, if I study this one painter's techniques and if I if I lay in my paintings with a paper towel and I use this burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, are are all my paintings going to look like Kyle Buckland paintings? And um, the thing about it is that that's not really a concern in the beginning um, and let me this is a good time to read the quote so this is from the art spirit the book art the art spirit it says don't worry about your originality you could not get rid of it even if you wanted to it will stick to you and show up for better or worse in spite of all you or anyone else can do and um, so there's <laughs> it's sort of a loaded quote in it and, but it, it speaks to a greater truth and that is that we are all individuals and um, originality is not something that you have to try for uh, and in fact the exact opposite is true originality comes from not trying to develop a certain style and just diving into art making and um, to you know making paintings and what will eventually happen is through the work through the consistent application of the paint to the canvas uh, your style will emerge and uh, originality will be there every step of the way. So, so even if you're learning to paint uh, by utilizing the techniques that I teach in my videos, you're still going to have preferences. How much blue you want to use, you know, you'll find that you like certain subject matter better than other subject matter. Um, you might prefer to work more on rectangular canvases. Uh, so, you know, so really, the thing you need to do is just keep painting and originality, uh, your individual style, it'll be there and it'll come to the surface. Um, and think of it this way, here's another great analogy for style. And um, I don't, I, this is probably from the Art Spirit a book or just an, uh, sort of a, an assimilation of several different ideas that I've read about, but um, style in painting is a lot like handwriting. Uh, we don't sit down and consciously decide how we're going to write certain letters. Um, everybody has their own individual handwriting style and yet the style is born out of us having things to say. So when we need to say something we write. We either write a letter, we write a grocery list, um, you know, we write dates on the calendar and eventually what happens is because we need 
a way to write down the information our style develops. So that's how you can think about style in painting. Uh, you want to focus on what it is that you want to say and uh, eventually after saying it over and over again you'll you'll realize that you've developed a style and this is not something that's going to happen in, in two weeks you know this could be something that takes a couple years uh, I've been painting now for about 18 years and uh, the longer I paint the more I realize what what a process uh, the, the whole development of style and originality is and it's something that never ends I don't think you turn you know a certain age and then you say okay I painted 5,000 paintings my style is here now uh, I think what happens is your style develops and then it's constantly it's a living growing uh, thing you know so so I don't know too many artists that paint it the same way when they were uh, 30 than they did when they were uh, 70 so I think it's something that's always changing um, This, this book, if you do get a copy of it, um, it's, 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 it's really nice because what it is is a collection of notes uh, and sort of a, just sort of an, a compilation of different ideas and his, some of his criticism to students about uh, certain paintings. And uh, so I would read it with an open mind. And I think he says in there somewhere that, um, you know, I don't want you to take anything I say seriously and not even this <laughs> so you know that's kind of a funny quote but but what he's hinting at is that um, you shouldn't take anything too seriously and I think that's the quote is you know I don't want you to take anything I'm saying too seriously because there's always going to be room for uh, your own ideas in in the situation and that's great because that's what moves art forward you know if, if we just all did what everybody else did and never questioned our teachers uh, then art would never move forward so um, and I'll leave you the, with this last thought and um, I want you to sort of internalize this when you when you're figuring out how to set up your French easel or you're uh, knocking over your paint thinner and you're having to clean up a bunch of brushes um, Remember that it's a worthy cause, that, uh, you know, one side of this thing is pretty picture making, which we're all doing, but on another side of it, it's, uh, you know, we're advancing art and we're helping, um, we're helping the evolution of, of something that's very important to humanity and that is, that is the, that is art and it, the, the legacy that we leave behind in what we choose to record and how we choose to record it. So. Um, and there's no there's no correct way to do that. So I, I think the only thing that it requires is us to to be passionate, have fun, and continue to do it. So so as you continue to paint, um, don't concern yourself too much with with um, with style and originality, and just dive in there and uh, go with those ideas that you have and. Uh, have a lot of fun with it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing another demonstration uh, this upcoming week, I think on Tuesday. So I'll try to have that published by Tuesday evening or um, Wednesday morning at the latest. So thanks again. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we really appreciate it. If uh, you want to support the channel, there's a link to um, our Patreon account um, in the description. You can go check that out. And then I've also got a couple links to my websites where you can go and purchase art. So um, we, we greatly appreciate it and hope you have a wonderful day and happy painting.